वी हैव टू वेरी पॉपुलर वीडियोज ऑन अर यूट्यूब चैनल वन ऑन हाउ टू अपलाई ऑन विद्या लक्ष्मी पोर्टल एंड अनदर वन ऑन हाउ टू अपलाई ऑन जन समर्थ पोर्टल बट द काइंड ऑफ क्वेश्चन ऑन ईच ऑफ दीज वीडियो इज दी सेम Guess what? Students end up applying on the wrong portal, and as per the restrictions, you can only apply on one, and once applied, you cannot change it. Sounds scary, right? It is. So many students miss on the opportunity of getting a government subsidy just because they applied on the wrong platform. So before you start applying for your education loan, it is very important for you to have a clear understanding of which is the correct platform for you. And in this five minutes video, you will get the full clarity. Do watch the full video. Hello all this is Damini co-founder of Vimex Scholars India's largest education finance platform so we started in the year 2015 with funding and support from Ministry of IT Government of India and our sole purpose is to help students like you find a scholarship and an education loan for your studies in India as well as abroad and all our services are absolutely free our videos are the most trusted source of information than watching some random bloggers even though we are sharing the information digitally through these videos but if any bank staff near your home denies accepting any thing which we have told in these videos then we are just a call away just call us and we will speak to that branch staff loan flix web series talks about everything about education loans and this particular episode is to let you know about which government portal to use when you are applying for your education loan i'll also give you a little background about the subsidy schemes which you can apply on jansamarth portal and i'll also tell you in what scenarios you should not apply on with the lakshmi portal at all let's start but before that i want to share that it makes me very unhappy when i see that after putting so much effort still 87% of the people who are watching these videos they get information through this but they do not subscribe to the channel guys we put so much effort so many times you know we bring out the dark secrets of the bank out there that we even start getting threat calls but we still keep putting effort in making these videos what we expect from you in return is just a subscribe so that we are motivated so that we keep putting effort and keep making these videos on scholarships as well as education loans so that you can fulfill your dreams guys please subscribe to our channel before you watch this video it's a request Let's start with a little background. Vidya Lakshmi Portal started in the year 2015 and until 2022 this was the only government portal to apply for education loan. In 2022 Jan Samarth Portal was launched not just for education loan but to apply to all government subsidies which are even applicable in agriculture loan, business loan etc. Now let me talk a little bit more about the government subsidies. So there used to be three subsidy schemes. Number 1 CSIS which is Central Sector Interest Subsidy Scheme for Studies in India. The second one was Karodo Pradesh Scheme for Studies Abroad and the third third one was dr b r ambedkar scheme for studies in india as well as studies abroad though the eligibility criteria was different for all these schemes like csis and dr m b r ambedkar scheme used to select people based on their family income and economic background whereas padu pradesh scheme was selecting people who are coming from minorities right but the benefit of all these schemes was almost the same that the government was waiving of the interest charged by the bank during the study period as well as during the grace period which is the total moratorium period interest they were waiving Off. But there is an unfortunate news. Two out of these three subsidy schemes are stopped by government effective from last year. Only one scheme is still applicable, which is CSIS scheme, which means there is no subsidy scheme for study abroad education loan anymore. But the good news here is that there are still some concessions on moratorium period interest, which are offered by the banks themselves. Nobody is really waiving of the interest of the moratorium period, but it can be reduced if you avail these concessions. Now, when you apply for your loan via VMX Scholars, you get to know about all these concessions. concessions and schemes financial officers at vmex scholars hold complete knowledge about these concessions and discounts and they will guide you on that and as i mentioned all the services of vmex scholars are absolutely free to get in touch with us you can call us on the number which is displayed on the screen or you can request a call back via the link mentioned in the video description and we will be able to help you with the entire loan process now let's come to our topic which government portal to use vidya lakshmi or jan samarth so see you use jan samarth portal only if you qualify these criteria number Number one, you are looking for an education loan for studies in India, and number two. you are eligible for the csis scheme now to give you a brief here to be eligible for csis scheme your family income should not exceed 4.5 lakhs per annum and you could be belonging to any caste it is open for gender ssc st obc everyone now if you are qualified for csis scheme and you are looking to study in india do not even by mistake apply on the vidya lakshmi portal because in that case you will not be able to apply for the subsidy because your bank will not be able to notify the government that you are qualified for the subsidy but if you are not 
not eligible for the subsidy never 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 even by mistake do not apply on Jan Samarth portal because if you do that you will not be able to register on Vidya Lakshmi portal later and you will not be able to process your education loan that's it i hope it is clear please inform all your friends and colleagues to watch this video as the very first step before they even start their education loan process but don't leave there there is one more important thing for you many students find it very difficult to apply on with the election portal sometimes the portal doesn't proceed to the next stage due to some technical issues sometimes it keeps throwing the random errors and sometimes where if you have by mistake applied on jan samarth portal you get locked and you cannot apply on with the election portal and even after you have applied it has all these issues like if you want to change your you know university or the course name you just cannot and sometimes even the bank staff cannot right so you get stuck in such scenario so what to do so we make scholars is also supported by government of india hence for a lot of banks we have the access to surpass with the election portal and when we log in your application through our portal it lands in the priority basket of the bank and are processed accordingly our portal is 100 times more friendly earlier than with the alakshmi portal and we even allow you to edit it if there is a change in university or course so i'm repeating again do process your education loan via we make scholars only we assign you a dedicated financial officer who handles your entire process education loan process until the sanction and they can answer all the questions which you or your parents might have and we assign you a financial officer who can speak your regional language as well be it tamil or malayalam or telugu hindi bengali kannada etc so that your parents are comfortable Too. All our services are absolutely free to get in touch with us. You can call us on the number which is shown on the screen, or you can request a call back via the link mentioned in the video description. That's it for this video. I'm happy to answer all your questions. Please put it in the comments below, and if you like this video, do hit the like button and do watch our complete video on the Vidya Lakshmi portal form filling and the Jan Samarth portal form filling. The link is in the description. 